Okay, so uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to our booth in that uh, embedded world uh, 2020. Uh, we have we've been coming here for five years now, and uh, this is an important uh, show for us, uh, where because we have a lot of customers coming in and uh, and also partners. So this year it's a little bit special because the conditions are a little bit special. But uh, we are there, and we have had uh, good attendance and. Uh, and uh, so my name is Christophe Pagesi. I am uh, the co-CEO of Proven Run. Proven Run specializes in cybersecurity. So we are doing two things uh, to make it simple. Uh, we have a leg uh, where we are doing uh, security consulting services. We help companies to understand what is about cybersecurity, what is at stake, what they would need to do about it, how they need to protect themselves and uh, so that they can take the right measures. So, so this is pure consulting and that we do with a number of uh, players in the field. Uh, the second thing is that we have uh, developed uh, key technologies so that you can protect your devices, usually connected devices, uh, from hackers and uh, you have a number of issues related to uh, connected devices. And we are working in a close relationship with a number of silicon vendors uh, because we pre-integrate our technology on their devices. So one of our key uh, technology partners for, uh, uh, for, uh, as a silicon vendor is ST Microelectronics. And uh, so we have been working with them on two sides. Uh, first, uh, we have been working with them uh, on their uh, well-known uh, STM32 uh, microcontrollers product lines. And uh, here, this is an example on the new uh, generation of microcontrollers. It's called uh, uh, STM, uh, uh, Cortex-M33, and uh, ST has been uh, one of the first uh, silicon vendors to come on the market with this new version of uh, microcontrollers. So we have developed a, a demonstration here. This is very special. This is for the, for the people, techni technical people. You have a security zone and we equip that security zone with our proprietary and very secure operating system. And this is a demonstration where we see that in action. So this has been uh, the result of uh, several years of cooperation with uh, ST Microelectronics and this chip is uh, soon to cover the market on a commercial version. It's a big so, deal, the ARM Cortex uh, 8M, right? Yeah, this is uh, the M, this is the uh, Cortex M V8, uh, exactly, uh, or M33. By the way, uh, we won the, uh, the price of the best software with that thing uh, two years ago at Embedded World, okay? And uh, that was a big thing. We were the first to come on the market and having that, it was a very early version of the, of, of the software at that time. Now this is fully commercial and working with ST on this, uh, on this platform. So I, I often ask uh, people if it's possible to do something that's 100% secure, and everybody says it's kind of not possible, but uh, with the hardware security, this trust zone, the hardware in the chip, it's going to help a lot. It's, it, it is helping a lot. So I confirm there is nothing that is 100% secure. It's like uh, in your house, okay? Do you believe that your house is 100% secure? It's just a question of how much security measures you are going to have and what are the means for and the, that uh, the, uh, the people that want to enter into your house will, 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 you are not going to resist against an atomic bomb, probably, okay, in your house, okay? So it's always a question of, you need to analyze what are the threats and you adapt your security level to, to the threat that you believe are, uh, are probable. So, uh, but on this one, yes, at the end of the day, what are you going to achieve with this kind of archi architecture? You are going to achieve a substantially higher security at a less of a cost, okay? Because that's what we want in security. You want to have more security at less of a cost, or that, that you can achieve that level of security in, a, in an easier manner than just, you know, uh, uh, trying to uh, do things with bits and pieces. And, uh, and this kind of new architecture uh, changes the game a little bit in terms of the ratio on how you get to the higher security at, at, at a given cost, okay? And we think this is a, a very promising uh, future that uh, for, the, for the microcontroller world, 
uh, that start to be deployed in, 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 in large number in the IoT, okay? When you want to have uh, sensors or actuators that are going to be connected, and you want to be sure that they are not going to be taken control of or remotely by, by hackers, you will need to have such kind of architecture. architecture. So, yes, this is one step, uh, be going one step beyond what was existing so far. Uh, there is no point trying to be 100% secure because it's not achievable, but you change the level of the bar of, in terms of security, and this is what, what is done with that, with that kind of architecture. Can you describe some more what's different now with this M33 this compared to what people were doing before, or what we were doing before? People, before people were, uh, uh, they were trying to have on the same chip, like this one, okay, they were using a, an operating system here and in, incorporate security within that operating system. Now, it is extremely hard to have a secure operating system and, and the security measures that you have are going to be as, as strong as the weakest point in the chain and the, 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 the weakest point here is software and the software coming from the operating system. So, in this new architecture, uh, what it allows is that you can continue to, to use your general purpose operating system like uh, an Arthos, free Arthos, whatever, okay, that you prefer to use. And next to this one that is fairly vulnerable, you have a dedicated security zone with speci a, a, a security specialized software stack that is dedicated to security. And this one, you know, you, 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 can, you can achieve to have the, speci the security specialized software on one side of the chip and the other, chap the, the other side of the chip, you do the same thing that you have been doing for developing your software. You don't have to take about security. So you leave the very specialized part of your software stack to, on, on a special zone and you isolate that from the rest, okay? And that uh, allows you to have a much higher security here without having to bother into your software development. You, you leave that to a certain piece of, the, or, or, of your project. And that's what, what is allowed by, that can, is enabled by this kind of architecture. So ARM has been talking about trust zone for many years, yes. but now this kind of trust zone is different, right? And this now is, this is a new version of Trust Zone on microcontrollers. You you had Trust Zone on microprocessors, and uh, and that has been success, successfully deployed in large scale uh, in the mobile telephony, for instance, and is now also coming up on the market on the more industrial side for automotive, for the energy, for the uh, communication. People start now to use uh, uh, Trust Zone. And I can come to another example uh, uh, where uh, where this is uh, this is getting real with the ST uh, microelectronics. But Trust Zone was not existing in the microcontroller world, and that's really something that is getting get, getting now on the market, and that will change the picture of how to secure stuff that are relying on microcontrollers. So probably I can move to another another, another place and with. With ST, and this is an example where uh, we have been working on the new uh, the STM32 MP1, which is another product from ST. This is now this is no longer a microcontroller. This is a microprocessor, and this is uh, uh, it's called the STM32 MP1. And here we are demonstrating. It's again relying on Trust Zone. We have a demonstration on how to do secure firmware update using our technology on this, on, this, on this chip. Up to now, people tend to leave all what is related to uh, firmware update in what is called the rich OS, the normal environment, typically a Linux or something like that, that, is very, that, that cannot be secured enough for the industrial use case. And so when you are confronted to industrial use case, uh, if you leave your firmware update in the Linux side, you, you, you take the risk of being, uh, having your Linux being, being hacked and then, and, and then the hackers taking control of the firmware update with all the consequences that you can imagine. So we advise to our customers 
to use a trust zone with our technology so that we, and we can have a re, that is that has been certified by the way common criteria EL7 so it is, it is at the highest level in terms of security and uh, host there the security functions like sec uh, like firmware update, like establishing se secure communication. So I cannot go into the, all the details, but this demonstration, which is a bit techy, but uh, and goes into the detail, uh, shows how that can be implemented on the ST32 MP1. And we have been partnering with uh, again with ST Microelectronics on. Uh, on all the uh, uh, the development of this of the chip mm -hmm. and how that can be made secure with our technology. So the MP1 is a bigger bigger it, chip. It's yeah. a Cortex A now. It is. But a how Cortex does a, a torus zone differ from so one to the other? Or I, uh, similar. So you know, it's uh, uh, in terms of product range, and I'm probably not the best person to talk about the product range of ST. But uh, uh, you. Uh, you, you start from the low-end microcontrollers you have uh, and you that are cortex m0 and you have uh, you go t up to uh, cortex uh, m7 uh, m7 you know and that are the higher grade of the cortex of the microcontrollers so but you have uh, the the benefit and the limitation of microcontrollers when you want to have a bit more uh, processing power, a bit more, uh, a bit more memory, you, and hosting things like Linux, you need to move to the world of microprocessors, and the MP1 is sort of bridging that gap, okay, and that's the entry point on microprocessors, so it's, uh, it is going a little bit above the microcontrollers in terms of performance, and uh, for customers that have more processing power or needs or host or to host Linux, uh, ST has come up with that product. Uh, that's called, uh, and, and I guess you know they are going to continue on that on that line. So and this is like a development kit they have. Or? That's a developing kit. Yeah, um, uh, it's probably not the last version. Uh, they, um, um, you know, that's the one that we've been using for the demo. Uh, uh, for industrial deployment, you probably are going to use And if you look again. just over here, so uh, Proven Core, that's your... your that's, that's our flagship product. That's your product. That's the key product that we have, because we believe that if you uh, want to secure a device, you, and you need to uh, host some security-sensitive functions, uh, like uh, firmware update, like uh, VPN connection, like uh, 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 crypto algorithm, like secure storage, like uh, authentication, all those se security sensitive functions, they cannot be executed by a non-secure operating environment because they are going to be as vulnerable, as vulnerable than the OS that you are using. So we have developed uh, a secure operating system that key technologies for hosting those security sensitive specialized functions. And we have a version for Cortex A. We also have a version of, it's called, this product is called Proven Core. We have a, a version for Cortex A microprocessors. We also have a version for RISC V, by the way. And we have a version for Cortex M microcontrollers. The Cortex A version has been certified common criteria EEL7. Uh, this is the world first. Uh, we are the only company that have reached that level of, uh, of certification. By the way, we have been uh, uh, with that with that uh, common criteria certification. We won. Uh, we have been nominated at the uh, Embedded Award, and uh, we got uh, in the in the safety and security uh, uh, category. And we are we are very proud to have, uh, to have won this uh, this award. Okay, it's uh, this is really a world first. Uh, we are the only team that has uh, reached that level of security for uh, secure OS, and that's why uh, you know I'm I'm, I'm I'm mentioning that this is really our uh, flagship product. So the ARM Trust Zone environment of the Cortex M33, for example, yeah. provides you this space for you to create the proven core in there absolutely what what we do with proven core in that space so you have to if you want to write a security application you you could theoretically you could uh, write your application on the bare metal okay uh, but then when you start to write an application on bare metal you have to face all the complexity of the hardware what is doing an operating system it is sort of 
making uh, uh, it is it is making uh, making it simple for you to write applications. So we with our oper operating system we enable the, the guys that need to write their software applications, their security applications, with an operating sy system that is making it simple, but without creating vulnerabilities and and also. Uh, 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 delivering a certain number of properties so that even if you write your application with vulnerabilities and bugs you are not going to create something uh, a big security issue so one of the key properties that you have in a security uh, secure operating system you need to ensure that you have isolation between one application to the other and that so that uh, even if you have a rogue application it cannot create a security risk for your whole platform this is a key property it's uh, called separation so we have that kind of sep uh, uh, property that is uh, uh, delivered and guaranteed with our technology we also have uh, 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 key properties like confidentiality, integrity that are guaranteed by our software. So I don't, without going to all the details, we offer something that sort of make it security much more easier to get for the application developers. That's why I'm telling this is giving, uh, 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 making security available at a high level at less of a cost because you don't need to have the highly specialized security uh, engineers for delivering a high security level because all the complexity is being embedded and delivered within our, our operating system. Okay. And you were talking about level 7, that's for the Cortex-A, right? This is for cortex -A. Do you have any level 7 on the Cortex-M33 so or is that possible to achieve? And how did you achieve this? How this is possible your team was the first? So, so uh, right now we, we, we uh, it, we, we could achieve this uh, uh, level for Cortex-M. Probably uh, there is no, not yet sufficient demand for that level of security in the microcontroller world. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, not something that uh, we will start this year in terms of certification. We are confident that we can achieve that uh, with the version that we have, but uh, this is not something that we'll do this year. Uh, there are more issues uh, related to uh, uh, to uh, enhancing some of the properties in the uh, of our product on demand, customer demand on some of the properties uh, that are uh, higher on the list for in our roadmap today. But uh, we think that uh, with what we have achieved uh, in the world of the macro processor, it gives a sort of a, a confidence to the market that uh, we can get them to whatever security level they need. Uh, whatever the requirement, okay, in the long term and even in an evolving uh, world where the level of threat is evolving, the level of requirement in terms of certification is evolving and so with our technology we can, we'll be able to help them to get to their market requirement, whatever are the requirements, okay. That's the beauty of having achieved the highest level. When you can do the highest level, you can always do, you know, the lower levels uh, because you <laughs> you have it for free, okay? And what are some of the other things in the roadmap that maybe, or is that a little bit secret what you're working on next? Uh, yeah, I don't want to go too much into our R&D R &D roadmap. Uh, we work that uh, on a priority basis with our customers. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's, I, I, would, I would rather keep that, you know, a little bit. Uh, all right. on, our, on our side. Okay. So a lot of things, interesting things happening in the better world with more security. Everybody's talking uh, about I, that. I think there are and a lot of things uh, happening in security, okay? Uh, there are uh, the whole, uh, the, a number of domains are, uh, have to move very fast in, on security, in particular the automotive sector, uh, where uh, there is uh, uh, still a, a, big, a big gap on uh, what would need to be done and what is actually uh, uh, done, but, and that's uh, evolving fast on the right uh, on the right path. But uh, there is still uh, a long way to go. So we see a lot of demand uh, on, this, on, on the automotive sector, uh, in general in the transport, by the way. Um, and uh, you know, in security, it's a little bit, always a, a bit of a race between. Uh, uh, the people uh, uh, 
hacking and they are uh, and and the people uh, implementing or integrating the uh, the security measures into their product uh, i think the people now are uh, do realize that they have to do something at the design level and that's the right thing to to be done uh, there is still a uh, um, uh, uh, a bit of concern in some, in some sectors on how to do that uh, given that they have also a, a number of legacy systems around they have some uh, you know you can't change everything just in a day but uh, 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 but this is progressing uh, the the level of attacks and the sophistication of attacks is also progressing very fast uh, so this kind of a race, and uh, and you know, uh, 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 we'll see how it goes, uh, and and we'll see how it, that evolves. But uh, yes, this is something that uh, has to be done for sure. Uh, in and a lot of hot things coming up uh, in in the near future on that front.